checking sound still working. Let's see what that's got. Nothing good. Open terminal. A class aspect of a silence. Keep on. This synthetic life form almost crackles with intelligence. Their senses seem to tune into me, calibrating their speech to a comfortable volume. In exchange, provide this entity with nano clusters, core racks, well, installable upgrades. Which is upgrade modules. Scatter blaster. Ooh, I want one of those. Mining beam module. So I think for my uh Oh did we have space for that? We just just about Okay. And switch to the other multi tool and install Yeah, it's got a blaster. Fire rate, reload time, clip size. I might still have to split it even more. Not sure if you can get more um, weapons on the same one. You may have just blaze cavalry, blaze javelin, and scatter blaster, and then a third weapon with the other two, or then these ones, plasma and um, pulse spitter, as an example. B class. Um, start it. Yes. Installable Starship upgrades. Organic entities welcoming core access to nanites. Trade for upgrade. Positron hyperdrive module. Hyperdrive module. Ooh. Warp drive is efficiency and jump distance. <laughs> what? Not really full on. Ah, stack size in there is also thin. Hmm. Okay, hyperdrive and skull. That. And um, move that. Move that. Move that. Oh no. There. Move that there. Move that and there. For light years, warp cell efficiency, and I want the A class one as well. A class purchase. Install. Ah, that's too much, too much. 150, 150, 160, gyroscopic. Mm. Ah, so that might work. Uh, hmm. So we might get more range if we take these and put it in there and connect more on this side as well for the hyperdrive. And we need to unlock more slots as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight storage modules. 
Hmm. Ain't got any slots. For access to upgrade. Organic and is welcome. Nanite, acceptable trade for upgrade modules. Shield, life support. Ooh, we want another movement. So the movement one is so we can uh, put more movement in here. And still some of these salt refractor and living pearl. Ah, that's what we wanted water jets. Aqueous compressor units are installed in the two jet packs turbines, bypassing the large energy requirement of underwater ignition. We'll need the other uh, reflectors as well. Radiation coolant network. Extreme heat damage on scorched roads. Toxic suppressor. Hmm. We had that already, because this is like toxic. This one? No. Oh. Okay. Still to be done. So, <laughs> of course, we just visited the wealthy system and bought out all their metal plates. Might have to go back to our other base and finish building a few more drop pods. Almost strong. We can pick up what we've farmed so far there as well and come and sell it here. Make more money! <laughs> Okay. Not too far over there. So if we step over this line, <laughs> can't construct. Just doing it from the air, but. And it is industry storage, industrial storage. So we've got 32 to go. <laughs> I think we can do another stack. How oh, I can we camera go? Whee. Yeah, so the ideal would be Seven days of storage. At our uh, S class hotspot. Thinking what this must look like. Running around on ground level. Hi, Shabji. 
I've got a uh, activated Indium farm that I'm trying to uh, build some storage for. It's activated Indium, it's like a blue star um, S class hotspot. So the I've built what's the, how many is that? Sixteen extractors. Yeah, sixteen extractors. Ah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I've uh, only built this yesterday. It's my first actual farm farm. And was quite lucky to find an S class thing. And uh didn't realize how much it actually produces now I'm trying to uh, build enough storage so I can actually leave it to run for many hours at a time which is not quite there yet for like an overnight run I think uh, we were at nine hours storage I'll leave it overnight and Still have it not filled up yet. <laughs> A stasis chamber. Ooh, that's like the expensive thing, right? A really uh, expensive craftable or something. It's probably next up in my how to make a farm thing. I'm going to do that as well. One fifty-five million each. Nice. Yeah, not quite at that level of expertise yet. Also want to actually play the mission, <laughs> the main game missions for a bit as well, at some point. Get distracted with all the side missions. <laughs> So these are all connected. Hardest kind of form. Ooh. Going for complexity. <laughs> I thought this was quite complex as well, just stretching base limits and learning about base limits and stuff. Because my uh my com base computer is what 300 genius that way and my power for the base is Almost a thousand units that way. Anyway, um, I think. How much do I have left? Oh, and th this planet's quite hostile, so I need to stand indoors while I'm doing this. <laughs> uh, let me try this again. How many do we have? Twelve left. Thanks for the follow. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the Cup Club! Whee! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Cubs! <laughs> kind of ridiculous how tall I'm making these storage things like. <laughs> Trying to use up all the metal plates I just bought. Keeping my inventory full. Two more. Doggo, this is a... You're a cat person. Good thing, because... I haven't quite looked at... Supposed to be a lion cup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need to work on a proper lion cup. One of the plushies I found online. Lion cup. <laughs> My 
Branding needs a bit of work. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> the profile picture of uh, my Twitch profile. Yeah, my, my spirit animal is a lion. <laughs> I'm a kid at heart, so baby lion. <laughs> And let's see how much this is. So, 117,000. So we passed 10 hours. Maybe 12 hours of storage. Time until full 12. Okay. And also got a bunch of ferro dust. So, make more metal plating. <laughs> No worries. <laughs> Make some metal plates. Make about eight thousand worth of metal plates. We have left uh, fair I guess. Five thousand. Okay. Uh, let's make another two thousand worth. The line. Uh, is it? Let's see. Oh, I'm getting tech power. More supply pipes. Well, not the pipes yet. Supply depots. And the, I love this game also offers so many distractions. So I'm actually hunting secure facilities, actually. <laughs> it's my to do thing for today. Um, I think that's high enough. Yeah. Let me do pipes. Connect it all the way there. I'm gonna start another two two row thing next to this on the ground floor. Just a little bit insane. How much storage I have to build over here. Okay, so um I think it should be enough to get a camera on the side in as well. I want to be able to swing the camera around to connect the pipes on that side. I 
nice that you don't have to connect power to this. It's just the supplies. Supply pipe. Oh, the other thing I also wanted to do is connect the two teleporters. So I've got a, another uh, short range teleporter on my uh, power supply side. I'll connect those. Storage. Okay, so not even 24 hours yet, and it feels like I've got so much space. Yeah, it's 16 times 557 per hour, and that's not 572. Yeah, so I can build even more if I want to do it more, fill it more quickly. I want the extra storage. Like if I leave the game for a, a week. I'm gonna come back and get loads of money. <laughs> okay, and want uh gonna try and see if I can uh, connect teleport cables. I heard they're a bit problematic though. Limited the range. range now as well. Um, Teleport cable. Okay. See if we can get it all the way. It's not snappable. So that's the only thing I heard. Ah, so you have to get it, start connecting it to the base. Urgh. Nope. Okay. So, teleport cable. Base. <gasps> Not sure we can do this. I heard there's a limit to how far you can do this. No, it's still going. It's just like a thousand to you in this direction. And I think I might run out of hazard protection before I get there. <laughs> If there's a storm, I'm going to be in trouble. Oh, I don't think we can do this. Hold on, can we do this? Urgh. Did we break it? Oh, we break it. I was trying to uh, do the punch and quick run thing. Save time. And 
failed. Hmm. Unless... There's like a completely underground tunnel or something. Isn't something like rail cars, is there? And build a railroad between the two while I'm constructing stuff. <laughs> yeah. The, the temperature starting to eat through my shield. Exit shoot. It's got uh, super heated wind storms and stuff as well. Okay, I'll try this again. Say. Is there a storm? Okay, so I'll try one more time. Tick. Um, I've played this about, in terms of total playtime, about 70 hours, but I've been getting distracted all the time. So I'm in, um, I've got the Nexus or the Anomaly and done like I've got up to three glyphs so I've just unlocked the place where I can get glyphs so I've got three glyphs so far so I've still got a fair bit to go I think what? No. is it still coming? I think it's still coming Must reach it, must reach it. It's on the other side of that mountain is this uh, second base where I'm running to. 70, I've not even built a base yet. Wow. Yeah, I built a base and then wanted to, oh, so this is going to be the problem. Oh, I'm so close. I'm uh, not really close, actually. Are we close? Uh. We're not close. Oh, so close. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. I broke my base limits. Yeah, how this uh, ex extending the base works and then I think I broke it when I saved and went somewhere else and came back and then the, all the parts seem to be separate bases but part of one base so I wanted to connect to this teleporter mm. At least the power is still connected, so... Uh, let's recharge this. It's like a thousand euro away. Oh, the cables. Unless I do, um two separate teleporters. I think I'm going to run into the same problem um, that my teleporters are out of range where I thought I would teleport.
land. Oh, I don't want to land. Oh, I hope I can't crash and destroy my own stuff when I can't land. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I think for some reason it starts in first person. I only later realized you can actually change it. By then I was like, yeah, yeah. It's like, no. Made it much easier, but then it's like the authentic feeling of struggling to actually fly. <laughs> it didn't feel so real. Uh, wait for me. Okay. Yeah, my first when I first repaired the ship, I uh, I saw an actual landing pad like that with the green circles, and uh, didn't know this was a button to actually land specifically. So I was like, when when do you when do you, how do you how do you land? And I kept flying into the ground and into the buildings because it didn't want to land. <laughs> like okay, fine, I'll keep going then. <laughs> What's the high value system, right? 